When it comes to building an online store, WooCommerce and Shopify are the two most well-known names out there. And for good reason, they're the most robust. Hey, my name is Evan. I'm here at the Woo Ninjas. We help you with e-commerce, e-learning, and membership sites. We make content all about that. If you're ever stuck on building yourself, you can check out our site. We could even help you quick launch the service from your idea to actually us implementing it for you. So check out the site for more information. Let's jump into the other part. So let's go over the benefits of WooCommerce and the benefits of Shopify because they're both great options, but they're maybe for different people. First of all, Shopify does require that you pay at least $30 month for their ongoing fee. It's a centralized program along with up to 2% transaction fees. On the other hand, WooCommerce, you actually have to do your own payment gateway like Stripe. So there's no transaction fees and no monthly payments. It's more of the open source option. As for Shopify, it's touted as you can set up your store in 24 hours and WooCommerce, you can do it in 24 hours, but it may take a little bit more time. And in the long run, Shopify is a little bit difficult to rank on Google SEO. However, However, WooCommerce is known for being able to rank better on SEO because there's a lot more plugins and it's a lot easier and it's your own site. Also, the difference between Shopify and WooCommerce is Shopify, is, since it's so quick to set up, it's a one and done, done for you. So they deal with the security, they deal with the domain name, they deal with the hosting, they do all that. And that's part of the $30 fee, at least $3,200 or a couple hundred dollar monthly fee. However, WooCommerce, you kind of have to do it all yourself. So you have to get your own SSL certificate, you have to get your own domain, you actually have to get your own hosting, but hosting can be as low as $3 and Shopify can be $30 a month. So the pricing is pretty clear clear that WooCommerce can get a lot more expensive, but Shopify can also be expensive from the start. So this is just a broad overview, but since we could really help you with getting your WooCommerce set up, we're going to dive into the benefits of WooCommerce specifically in this scenario. Okay, so let's jump in and talk about WooCommerce. This is actually the WooCommerce site, WooCommerce.com. And between the two, Shopify and WooCommerce, WooCommerce is the clear winner. It's much more customizable and powerful, but it does does require a little bit more technical expertise, but it'll pay off a lot more if you plan on keeping your store up for more than a couple months. And with WooCommerce, you pay for actually what you use rather than getting all these features and not needing them. So it's an a la carte. And a lot of times different plugins that you may need, maybe a one-time fee rather than say on Shopify, rather than paying 30 for a month, you're paying a hundred just because you want one little feature. And you know, here's an example. Here are some of the different features that you can actually pay for to get one-time access, like subscriptions, bookings, memberships. These are all these one-time fees that allow you to really upgrade your WooCommerce store. So not only are there these extra features and plugins on the WooCommerce site, but you can go to other third-party sites that have many different solutions and fixes to different upgrades you can add to your WooCommerce website. For example, here, this is our Wood Ninja's custom add-ons. These are the plugins that we have designed and they're all solving different issues you may have when you're running your WooCommerce shopping experience from editing the max quantities to being able to bulk edit products for WooCommerce, just a lot of these different things to allow you and your customers to have a much better experience on your actual WooCommerce e-commerce site. Okay, so before I just speak good about WooCommerce, I do want to bring up the point that Shopify, you know, is a decent experience. But for the people who really want a long-term store, we have a lot of people switch from Shopify to WooCommerce and they talk to us about setting up their store or transferring their Shopify store over to a WooCommerce store because it can rank better on Google. And in the end, that's one of the best ways to get traffic to whatever you're selling is organic Google SEO. You can do that on WooCommerce much better than Shopify. So here is Shopify. So let's just go over the expenses. They do have a fancy, pretty uh, landing page, but let's talk about the actual pricing. They say it's a dollar. It's a dollar for three months for Black Friday. It's really $30 a month for basic. They give you two staff accounts, basic reports. 80 bucks a month is, you know, professional reports, which is probably if you're doing any sort of volume, gonna really want the medium, you know, the Shopify 80 bucks a month for the minimum. Five staff accounts, five inventory locations. Inventory locations pretty much means where you're drop shipping from. So five drop shipping spots, four drop shipping spots, eight drop shipping spots. And uh, sometimes there's just one feature on Shopify that'll make you kind of get to the advanced category. And for this case, uh, I was looking down here and it's mostly if you're ever gonna ship internationally, you need to calculate duties and import taxes. You need the advanced version. 
And then also you're going to need the advanced version. If you ever want to calculate like third party shipping, FedEx, UPS, post office, you're not doing just one shipping rate, but you're having multiple, you're going to need to pay that 300 a month. And that's sometimes how they get a lot more people into the uh, more expensive plan. Shopify is great, easy to set up, but maybe tough for the long haul. And then also a secret fee that's embedded in Shopify is a percent of sales ranging from 0.5 to 2%. We're going to need to dig a little deeper, which plan is which amount, but it's not very transparent right here. And that's a very big chunk of your margins if you're doing a lot of volume. So it's always a good thing to be concerned about. And with WooCommerce, you're using Stripe, you're using whatever payment processor, PayPal, and you're not paying any extra to WooCommerce. You're just paying Stripe or PayPal, which is what you would expect on any e-commerce platform. I do want to mention that many people are tempted to sign up for Shopify because it's a very user-friendly experience, people recommend it on YouTube, and you hear so much about it. However, in the long term, we do help a lot of people transition over to WooCommerce just so they can actually rank on Google and pay a lot less in fees. Remember, you know, the fees are fairly substantial, but I get it. You want to pay fees. So you don't have to deal with security. You don't have to deal with hosting any of those issues. So one of the things that we do offer is a maintenance plan that does deal with security, updating plugins, everything you need to keep your WordPress site and WooCommerce site running smooth and fast with no bugs. And if you are tempted to just sign up for Shopify, and just launch your store that way, because it's easier, we do actually offer a quick launch service. So if you have an idea or a store or any concept, check Check out this link will be in the description. It's our quick launch service. We've been in business seven years and we do everything from concept to actually implementing it. You choose the theme, we make it happen and check this site for a little bit more information if you're interested. Really hope you enjoyed the video. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment area. Make sure to like, subscribe if you want more up-to-date content on creating your own e-commerce stores. Until then, we'll see you in the next video.